subscribe to DV Studio and press bell icon for more interesting videos. Hello everyone, this is Dipanshu and welcome to SketchUp Tutorial Part 2. In the previous tutorial, we had learned the line tool, the basic shapes tool, rectangle, circle, arc, the eraser tool, the move tool and the push pull tool and the final uh, the tape measure tool. Okay, in this video we will learn rotate tool, follow me tool, scale tool, offset and the dimension. So let's start. Let's start with the rotate tool. If I draw a surface like a rectangle by rectangle tool. Okay. If I want to rotate this rectangle then select the rotate tool then click on the surface then define the baseline base guideline then click and rotate it this will rotate in the horizontal direction only if you want to rotate in the upper direction so we have to move the cursor to the edge of the this rectangle and when it turns green it will rotate it in the upper direction at the 90 degree then click on the edge then select the base okay now rotate it now in this case it will rotate the only edge of this rectangle so if we have to rotate whole rectangle like the surface of the rectangle then we have to select the surface first and select surface then select the rotate tool then again when it turns green okay first select the base guideline okay now move it you can see right bottom of your screen this shows the angle angle from the horizontal then click and escape then you can see the rotated rectangle right this is the case in 2d if you want to rotate a 3d form then so we will draw a rectangle again give it a thickness by push pull tool okay now by selecting the rotate tool if we rotate this surface like click and click as a baseline and rotate it it will rotate only the upper surface of this 3d form it will not rotate this extrusion right if we want to move this extrusion or this 3d together then we have to make it as a group then triple click by triple click you can select all the edge and the surface then right click and make group now if I'm trying to rotate it then click define the baseline base guideline then rotate it now you can see it rotate the whole extrusion if I move from this surface okay define the base and rotate it will rotate in the upper direction at an angle with the horizontal line so the rotate tool will work in the two plane the horizontal plane and the vertical plane the horizontal plane it will rotate in the horizontally direction the extrusion or the surface will remain the at the horizontal level right 
or we can rotate it by the vertical face or we uh, so so that we can angle to this extrusion right next tool is follow me follow me tool work like uh, if we want to uh, follow a path then we can use follow me tool like uh, if uh, I'm drawing a path straight then curve right if I draw a extrusion which we want to follow on this path okay now select the follow me tool select the surface click it then take the mouse to the path then click the form you have selected follow the path with the use of follow me tool you can make dom also right if uh, i'm drawing a circle okay for the dom you have to give it a height by line tool center select the follow me tool now click the surface and follows the path click on the end and your dome will be ready so the follow me command or the follow me tool will work as a revolve command right if you want to revolve or make a circular thing then just make half profile of that thing and use follow me command so it will follow the path and revolve around it the next tool is scale a scale tool use whenever you want to make a thing bigger or you want to modify it right if I want to make this dome uh, bigger if I want to make this dome a little bit of more height then we can use scale tool select the scale tool then you can see there is lots of coordinates you can stretch it You can stretch it by selecting any of the coordinates, any of these vertex, right? If I want to increase this dome height, then just select scale tool and click, then click, it will change the height of this dome. And if I want to make it a little bit of smaller then just click on the corner vertex and then make it of your desired dimension right you can modify by any of the vertexes right the next tool is offset offset tool like if I draw a rectangle I go to CAD if I want a offset in this rectangle then just use offset tool offset then click on the surface it will show this guideline right this guideline is the offset you want to make and if I want to this offset this is 780 mm right on the right bottom of your screen then just click 
it will make another surface or face right if i want to make get offset then click on offset tool click surface offset tool okay right then we can just pull push or uh, what whatever we want to make right the limitation of this k offset tool is whenever we want to offset in the curved surface it will not work it will work only on the flat surfaces right if i want to make it offset of in this surface right i select offset tool then click and give it a offset right if i want to make a offset in this curved area in this curved surface then if i select this offset tool then it will show this red mark that indicates that it will not work on the curved surface right so the offset tool will work only on on the flat surfaces next tool is the dimension dimension is the like the annotation annotation we want to give and uh, like we want to give dimension in 3d's also like if uh, i pull this and want to give it a dimensions so dimension tool pick dimension tool and select the edge right in this we can give in two direction we can get dimension in two direction in the horizontal direction and in the vertical direction if i give the dimension in the horizontal it will on the green line green dotted or guideline and click okay now if i want to give it in the 3d or the in the vertical direction then just click on the edge and go to on the blue dotted axis and click it will show same dimension but in the upper direction in the in the vertical direction right just click h and give it dimension right the next tool is the protector protector is the simply a dimensioning tool like if we want to uh, the give the dimension if we want to check the dimension or angle of anything inclined or declined then we can use just protector it is the dimensioning tool only right if i draw a rectangle okay if i rotate it on the angle some angle like select the surface then select the rotate tool okay okay click on the base and move it by like 30 degree then type 30 enter okay if i want to check this whether it is or 30 or something else then we can use protector tool okay protector then just when it turns green okay hit the base and just the edge right it will show 30 degree angle okay so we had learned today the scale uh, the rotate tool the follow me tool the scale tool the offset tool the dimensioning tool and the protector or we can say dimensioning protector tool right in the next video we will learn another set of tools like annotation 3d text axis change and the some camera tools right so if you like this video hit like button share the video thank you